I hope you're well. Do you know how a frog moves? Yes, by jumping. Frogs jump to get around. Did you know you can jump to count faster? This is called skip counting. Are you ready to learn how? Let's go. When you skip count, you are jumping like a frog. You can skip count in ascending order from smallest to largest and descending order from largest to smallest. I'll start by showing you how to skip count in ascending order. I can make this frog jump by two on the lily pads. In this example, the frog starts on lily pad zero. To make the first jump, I add two to zero. Zero plus two equals two. The frog jumps add two to the new number. Two plus two equals four. The frog jumps onto four. I jump again by two. Four plus two equals six. The frog jumps onto six. I can continue. Six plus two equals eight, and eight plus two equals 10. Great, let's name the numbers on which the frog landed. Zero, two, four, six, eight, and 10. That's it. We are skip counting by two in ascending order. Now, do you wanna skip count by three in ascending order with me? Let's go. This time, the frog starts on 10. I start by adding three to 10. 10 plus three equals 13. I move the frog onto 13. I keep adding three to the new numbers. 13 plus three equals 16. The frog jumps onto 16. 16 plus three equals 19. 19 plus three equals 22. And 22 plus three equals 25. When we skip counted by three, the frog landed on the numbers 10, 13, 16, 19, 22, and 25. As I told you earlier, it is possible to skip count in descending order. To do this, I have to subtract. I'm going to make the frog jump by five in descending order. In this example, the frog starts on lily pad 15. To make the first jump, I start by removing five from 15. 15 minus five equals 10. The frog jumps onto 10. Afterwards, I always subtract five from the new number. 10 minus five equals five. The frog jumps onto five. Finally, five minus five equals zero. The frog jumps onto zero. See, the frog jumped by five in descending order by hopping onto lily pads 15, 10, five, and zero. I hope you better understand how to skip count. Practice by imagining a frog jumping from one lily pad to another.